This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2011 Ford F-150 Crew Cab with a five and a half foot short bed uh, box. It is a Lariat, which is leather. It's two wheel drive and it's a 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Uh, it has 69,500 miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in McAllen, Texas. Um, on a clear title and when we get them here, we do a big inspection. Uh, right now, our computer's acting funny, so I had to handwrite all this stuff, which really sucks. But uh, I do have all the information. Mechanically, it got an oil and filter, air filter. We uh, pro reprogrammed the key. Uh, both upper control arms are new. Front rear shocks are new. Front and rear brake pads and rotors are new. Um, it also has brand new tires uh, on it, and I think we had to buy wheels for it, too. There was something wrong with the wheels were on it. Uh, so we had to buy wheels for it, but I think the wheels were used. Um, they're 20 inch, by the way. Also, you'll see pictures of it before it left McAllen, Texas, and it pretty much looks like this. The only thing you can see in the in, in the uh, pictures that isn't right is the rear bumper has a big, big bash in the middle of it, uh, and the gas door is missing. What you can't see are the gigantic scratches uh, on the hood and on the fenders and on the upper bumper cover. Uh, so I sent it to my good painter, Mario. He was gonna paint it and he said, you know what? Because they're aluminum, we have to uh, do some body work on them. I'm like, there's no, I didn't see a dent on them, but he's like, it's easier just to buy them. So we bought brand new fenders, brand new hood. That was really expensive uh, for this truck. Brand new upper bumper cover, the painted piece here. Uh, we also bought the trim piece of the insert. It's the original bumper, but uh, you'll see that in the pictures. But anyway, uh, very expensive. So the front clip basically has brand new fenders and hood. Uh, and in the before pictures, you won't know why, because the pictures are kind of crappy. But it's because of that. And obviously, I could just keep that to myself and not see anything. That's not how we roll. We uh, let people know. Brand new tires. Uh, used wheels. There's been some touch. There's a couple little little door ding here and here. There's a couple places we saw where there's been some touch up on it. Still, it's a really good looking truck. I'm not really sure what color they call it. it kind of. At first, I thought it was black when it's inside, but it's got like a green kind of flaky metallic to it. At certain angles, it's pretty. I don't know. I don't know what it is. If it's green or black or both. But it, that's the factory color, and it looks great. Rear bumper. They, uh, I don't know if it was uh, maybe a trailer that they bashed it in with. You'll see the before picture. The rear bumper is hammered. And, of course, it got just into the hitch, so we just took the hitch off. It does have a backup camera. It has a really nice uh, spray and bed liner. thing on the tailgate right there and let me see and my brother will take this thing out for uh there's a light scratch right there and I saw some touch up this little scrape it's in the clear cut though touch up right here I, if you're looking at the picture gallery focus right in on that area uh, zoom in on that I don't think it's a big deal I you really can't see it much at all when you stand back from it but our videos and our pictures are, are not trying to sell the vehicle. We're trying to get you informed to get the vehicle to the right person, um, not sell it. It will sell itself. These trucks are expensive trucks, and this is a nice one, but uh, we want to make sure we get it to the right house, okay? Uh, let's see. What else don't you know? Told you mechanic. Interior. Blower motor uh, resistor for the AC. Repaired driver seat and repaired console. So there's probably a little die of some sort whatever it was it wasn't very much I don't see anything but it probably died something up here so whatever it was it wasn't much um, Kelly Blue Book on the truck 69,559 miles suggested retail price is 27,807 there's your equipment it has air-conditioned seats backup camera 
Um, all that stuff will be in the ad also. Carfax. There's your Carfax. There's your VIN. No accident damage. There's your adjusted value put in the book value plus that. Their suggested retail value is $28,533. All right, Ford service here, more Ford service. Reported stolen, 1029. Insurance claim, both on the same date, so they just reported at different times. Anyway, there's the uh, current title. No brands, original. 69,000 actual miles, and that's that, all right? I'm gonna open up the hood. This is where I wish I had longer fingers because these freaking boards have them way back there. There we go. All right. Like I said, new fenders, new hood. And really, I don't know why we did that other than the painter insisted on us doing that because it saved us about 600 bucks. But they look fine to me. I have no idea why we did that. Make sure I show everyone everything. This is a nice truck. A really, really nice truck. A little quiet too. Got 69,000 miles, so there's gonna be a little wear. That silver trim that they use in these things shows wear. So does the die on the dashes on them, kind of like Chevy's does. They peel. Let's see, door locks. The seat looks fantastic. Really good. It's just like something sat on it for a while. That'll come out eventually. All right, forward, back, full seat back, full seat forward. All right, so power seat works fine. There you go. Show you the undercarriage here in the video. I said it's very important that we get this thing to the right person and they understand the vehicle. Um, that way, um, ugh, thanks, there we go. That way, everyone's happy. There's no upside in BSing. BSing is a disaster waiting to happen. You know what? I forgot to open this back door because 500 to 800 people a day see these vehicles online. Our vehicles. Um, we're on a zillion favorites list, and so here's a little, people have their feet down here digging into that. Air is blowing ice cold out of the vents, I can attest to that. Anyway, uh, it's much easier to do this correctly than it is to do it incorrectly. And the correct way to do this is to make sure that everybody knows what they're buying and that we give you as much information as possible. Up down that way everyone's happy and there's no surprises and it's amazing and when you tell people what's wrong with the vehicle or what's right with the vehicle here's the adjustable pedals up and down and you've got tilt wheel when you do that everyone's happy and it ends up at the right house the minute you tell people something that it isn't it ends up at the wrong house 10 years, they've always ended up at the right house. Because the internet's a big place and the people you tell, give the information to, the correct information to, and they buy it, they don't mind the warts. By the way, this AC is beautiful. Let me turn this down a little bit. But it's got uh, air-conditioned seats right there. 
Those are air-conditioned seats. All right, off. It's also got heated seats. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna turn the air up a little bit. It's really hot. Yeah. Smooth and crunchy. So bold, it started a peanut butter yeah. cup. Who is you is? At Universal Men's Clinic, we don't just improve a man's Steering health control. in the bedroom. That's what, that's what the steering right here. Sides, hot it, but we doubled Del Sol Resort. Right. So there you go. So the radio works fine. CD player. Got the sink. The USB there. Blah, blah, blah. Trailer package deal. Let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Boom. That's that. Let's see. Up. Boom. Here's that. Let's see. That. That's a cool one. All right. I'm going to go for a ride. This thing, first of all, let me show you the backup camera. There's the backup camera on. Now I put it in gear and it's off. So when it's in reverse, it goes in. Um, what else we got? Oh, we have a power sliding rear window. There's that. This is a sweet truck, guys. All right, gals. All right, let's get going here. This is not a clear title. If you come to Tucson and drive it home, which you're welcome to do, you're gonna pay tax and dock fees. Uh, tax is 2% city tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. Then you add a $250 dock fee and you know what it's gonna cost. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're gonna pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Um, once we receive your wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or company's name. Uh, and then we will mail it to you. We'll scan it all into your uh, online file first so you'll be able to see it even before it hits the mail. Uh, the notarized signed off title will be in your file. Uh, the envelope we mailed in, that'll be scanned in, everything. Um, so when you have the vehicle shipped to you, you'll be able to take the title that you already have from the mail and the truck and go get plates. Very simple, okay? Um, God, this thing runs great. Really good, it's running truck. Buh, 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 buh. Deposit, $500 deposit. Once we have a deal, get your deposit in. Um, trucks like this do not last long, especially the EcoBoost. They're on fire right now. They just go quick, quick, quick. This one's strong, really strong. Um, so get your deposit in. Once we have your deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com and you'll know what's yours. Until then, it is for sale, okay? So get the deposit. Next part is the warranty speech. There is none. We give you tons of information. There'll be 50 to 70 HD pictures. Uh, cosmetically, we tell you everything we know about it mechanically, but at the end of the day, uh, all this information, which is more than you'll ever get in a, in a live car deal, um, does not eliminate risk, okay? There will be risk still. If it needs something the day you get it, you're paying for it, okay? Um, so if you don't like risk, if you can't accept risk, please don't buy anything we have because we don't know. I mean, I could not guarantee you with a million percent certainty that I'm going to make it to the next light, which is right there, okay? Um, it's a great running truck. I would take it to Maine right now, but I'm not Nostradamus, okay? Um, we go through these things very carefully. But that being said, you know, everything breaks, and when you're out of warranty, you're out of warranty. So if it breaks on you the day you get it, the second you get it, you're spending your money to get it fixed. So please get it fixed on your dollar and don't ask us for a check. That's not happening. Wow. A lot of power. All righty, that was quick. And I'm in a 35, and there's a guy on a trike or a bike or something, so I think I'll not try to kill him. So anyway, please make sure you know what you're buying, uh, understand what you're buying, know what you're getting into. If you need to be a sure thing, if you need to know you're not going to spend any money on a vehicle for quite some time, then uh, uh, go buy new. You can buy a new EcoBoost Lariat two-wheel drive for about 50. You know, and after a couple of years, you'll still owe 30 or 35 and you'll be out of warranty. That's the truth. That's why you buy used, but used doesn't mean sure thing, right? All right. Anyway, this thing's got a great ride. This road we're on is like four wheeling in Bolivia. And there's, I don't hear any rattling going on. Nothing. Very nice ride. Brother's going to take this thing out for uh, pictures next. Please uh, make sure you get your deposit in quickly if we come on to an agreed price. And that is that. Thank you.